belonged to my teacher, Master Yoda. If you choose the armor, you'll return to your friend, the Mandalorian. But if you choose the lightsaber, you will be the first student in my academy. Which do you choose? Welcome back, everyone. This is going to be my new Grogu Luke Skywalker video for the Book of Boba Fett in The Mandalorian Season 3. Why they're setting up Grogu leaving Luke Skywalker's new Jedi Order, his Jedi Temple, the Academy, after he just got there. If you're brand new to the channel, I'll be doing videos for The Mandalorian Season 3 and Obi-Wan Kenobi episodes real soon. Everything else this year, be sure to subscribe to get them all. There are going to be a lot of Star Wars episodes coming this year. Careful for spoilers for everything that's happened on the Book of Boba Fett so far. If you have not been watching the show, it has been kind of like The Mandalorian Season 2.5 for the last couple episodes. But recently, during the Book of Boba Fett Episode 5 and Episode 6, we just learned what Grogu and the Mandalorian Din Djarin have been doing since the end of The Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 8 finale. Grogu left with Luke Skywalker to begin his Jedi training, and Mando had left with the Darksaber to find the armor and his former covert of Mandalorians. Because he still has the Darksaber, that effectively gives him a claim to the throne of their home planet Mandalore and the title of Mandalore, which is what they call the ruler of their people at any given time. And Grogu had been training with Luke Skywalker on the planet where he eventually creates his Jedi Temple in his academy that we've seen in the movies, Luke barely having just begun to construct the actual physical temple itself. And he'd intended for Grogu to become his very first student at the new Jedi Academy. And even though Ahsoka Tano was also at the Jedi Academy, they weren't trying to say that she was going to become an instructor at the Academy. She was just there for a brief stay to meet with Luke Skywalker and see Grogu begin his training and then go off on her own mission that we'll cover during the Ahsoka episodes in that series next year. Just because Luke Skywalker's beginning his new Jedi Academy doesn't mean that Ahsoka is coming back to the Jedi Order. And that also kind of dovetails with the reason why Grogu will eventually leave the Jedi Academy. It was a great episode. It featured a lot of Easter eggs and callbacks to Luke Skywalker's Jedi training with Yoda during Empire Strikes Back and a lot of the exact same scenes. Running around in the little Yoda-sized backpack, learning to levitate, balancing himself using the Force while doing multiple things at the same time. Him learning to dodge the training drone's blaster fire was more of a reference to Yoda's Force jumping and lightsaber fighting skills during Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith and for Obi-Wan Kenobi's training of Luke during A New Hope, including the Size Matters Not speech. This is them showing you some of the things that Grogu can do. We saw some of his skills during The Mandalorian Season 2, like force choking and throwing around the stormtroopers. So he is very powerful, and Luke was helping him unlock a lot of his prior training with the Jedi that he'd suppressed. Even though we only saw them training for this one episode, it's implied that Grogu and Luke Skywalker have been training like this for months. And just in terms of timeline between the end of The Mandalorian Season 2 and The Book of Boba Fett Episode 1, it's been less than a year. Not that much time has passed. Like a little bit of time, but that's it. You probably see where I'm going with this. Grogu was training with Luke Skywalker for about as long, maybe even a little bit longer than Luke Skywalker actually trained with Yoda before he left to go rescue Han Solo, Princess Leia, the others at Cloud City when he got the Force vision of them in trouble. And even though Grogu didn't get a Force vision of Mando being in trouble, during the episode, they try to show you how Ahsoka had to counsel Mando about Jedi attachment issues and remind him what it did to Anakin Skywalker, leading to him becoming Darth Vader, going to the dark side of the Force. She basically explained why she and Luke Skywalker were trying to do everything they could to avoid repeating that mistake. And at the end of the episode, they show Grogu is just as preoccupied, missing Mando not focusing on his training as much as he should which is also meant to be another parallel for Anakin Skywalker. Yoda had his own version of this speech during Empire Strikes Back, speaking about Anakin Skywalker and Luke Skywalker. Like his father, never his mind on where he was, hmm? what he was doing. That's what Ahsoka's comment about Anakin Skywalker meant when she told Luke, much like your father. The double meaning was that she was saying that Luke was much like his father, trying to train a Padawan for the first time like Ahsoka was Anakin's first Padawan. But Ahsoka was also telling Luke that she sees a lot of the same energy in Grogu that she saw in Anakin Skywalker, which is kind of a warning. And this also dovetails with why they'll have Grogu make the choice to leave Luke Skywalker's Jedi Academy. And it's all about the mistakes of the Jedi, the way that the Jedi dogma kind of set them up to fail. Like we talk about the fall of the Jedi, and as evil as Emperor Palpatine and the Sith were, a lot of the things that the Jedi wound up doing, a lot of their teachings, were actually wrong, just in a completely different direction. George Lucas talked a lot about this, about Anakin Skywalker bringing balance to the Force, and as much as that was about getting rid of the Emperor during Return of the Jedi, bringing balance to the Force was also about getting rid of the Jedi Order as it existed when Anakin Skywalker became Darth Vader. 
The idea that even though the Jedi themselves weren't evil, a lot of their teachings were wrong. At the end of the episode, Luke Skywalker forces Grogu to make the choice between the Mandalorian and the Jedi, choose the Mandalorian's Beskar armor, chainmail suit, or choose Yoda's lightsaber in the path of the Jedi. If he chooses the armor, he forsakes the path of the Jedi as Luke Skywalker sees it, and if he chooses Yoda's lightsaber, Luke is effectively saying you won't ever see the Mandalorian again. It will take you many years to master the ways of the Force, and you may never see the Mandalorian again. A lot of you were commenting about how it's lame for Luke to make him choose, like why make him choose? Why can't he have both the armor and the lightsaber? And the reason why they actually wrote it this way, why they had Luke Skywalker do this, is to show you how Luke is repeating a lot of the same mistakes as the Jedi Order with their rigid dogma about attachments, and he's sort of setting up his Jedi Academy to eventually fail. Remember during Episode 5 when Mando had the Darksaber and was talking to the Armor about Grogu, and she told him the same speech about Jedi dogma and attachments? Mando argued that their philosophy as Mandalorians was almost the opposite. It was all about attachment and protecting your clan, protecting your family. That is the opposite of our creed. Loyalty and solidarity are the way. And you have to remember that Mando is not on the path to the dark side or anything. Like, he is a little bit darker as a character, but they want you to think that he's walking the correct path. Like, he might make some short-term mistakes, but in the larger sense of things, he's on the right path. Whereas Luke Skywalker is just repeating the same mistakes of the old Jedi Order. We saw how that ended, not well. And while Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni aren't retconning any of the new Star Wars movies or anything, they are preemptively sidestepping them using Grogu. And here's how they're doing that. Grogu will eventually leave Luke Skywalker in the Jedi Order, but Luke helped him unlock his previous Jedi training, making him much more powerful, giving him access to more memories that he can continue to relearn Jedi skills from. So he's just beginning to do that now. And because Yoda's species lives for up to 900 years or so, Grogu's only a little over 50 now, he's got over 800 years to develop his own version of a new Jedi Order that's totally different from the old Jedi Order. So in choosing the Beskar armor, they're basically saying Grogu is going to reject the old Jedi ways that Luke Skywalker is hyping up in this episode. So eventually, someday, when Mando dies either of old age or he dies in some big battle, and Grogu goes his own way, focusing more on deepening his connection with the Force, he'll start a new Jedi Order of his own, and because this is more than 50 plus years in the future we're probably talking about here, unless Mando gets killed really soon, that puts Grogu way past the events of the new Star Wars movies, effectively sidestepping everything that happened during the new movies. Grogu off on his own with the help of Force Ghost Yoda, maybe counseling him, or anybody that's still alive at that point, maybe Force Ghost Ahsoka. Pretty much all the Jedi that you know right now would be Force Ghost by that point. Right now, Grogu is the only character that we know of that we've seen in the context of the show and the movies who would still be alive a long time in the future creating a new, different Jedi Academy, one that doesn't focus so much on absolutes or attachment issues. There were a lot of jokes about this too after Luke Skywalker made him choose. Why is he making him choose only a Sith deal on absolutes? If you haven't seen any of the Star Wars Rebels episodes either, they introduced the Bendu character during that, played by Tom Baker of Doctor Who fame. And the Bendu was a creature that wasn't a Jedi or a Sith, he wasn't a Grey Jedi either, but he wielded both the dark side and the light side of the Force in a more complete way that made him way more powerful. And I think that eventually, in the distant future of the Star Wars universe, Grogu will become something closer to the Bendu, even if he doesn't become a Dai Bendu himself. Dai Bendu is the name of the order that the Bendu belong to. It's a big Easter egg for that, which is actually a big Easter egg for George Lucas's original treatment for the Star Wars universe. Also, if you read a lot of the classic comics, there was this idea of the original order of Force users that predated the Jedi Order and the Sith. They kind of did the same thing. They wielded both dark side and light sides of the Force at the same time. But they had a huge schism in their order, a big civil war splitting them apart. Half went to form the Jedi, the other half went to form the dark side Force users that would eventually be known as the Sith. Also, when talking about Grogu leaving Luke Skywalker's Jedi Academy, there were a lot of practical Easter eggs and references in the previous episode foreshadowing him leaving. Like the little tiny pod that they created in the Naboo N1 Starfighter, the Grogu-sized pod that they kept focusing the camera on when characters talked about Grogu. As for the fate of Yoda's lightsaber, if Grogu leaves, would Luke still let him keep it? I know a lot of you are like, would they still let him have the lightsaber even if he takes off? It's always possible, but if the idea is that Grogu is going to leave to forge a totally new Jedi path, a new Jedi order that's different from the old ways, I'd rather see him create his own lightsaber eventually that's just totally different. Also, if you're talking about Yoda's lightsaber, even though it is tiny, I mean, it's a really cute little lightsaber, 
Grogu's tiny little hands still are not big enough to completely reach around Yoda's lightsaber hilt, so physically it would actually be very difficult for him to wield the lightsaber. He could grab lightsabers like the Darksaber or even Yoda's lightsaber with the Force and swing it around that way, but physically he couldn't reach his hand around the hilt and swing it around like he would normally do. Even though he doesn't have the technical knowledge in how to actually build a lightsaber, Force Ghost Yoda or Ahsoka Tano could teach him how to do that. If you saw the deleted scenes for Return of the Jedi, they also have the deleted scene of Luke Skywalker building his new green lightsaber. He didn't get special plans on how to build that, he got some help from Force Ghost Obi-Wan Kenobi and Yoda. So they can do the same thing for Grogu in the distant future when he eventually creates his own lightsaber. Also, Ahsoka Tano would know how to build a lightsaber, she could tell Grogu how to do that too. So there are other Force users out there who are still alive that Grogu can still learn new things from while he's having adventures with the Mandalorian during Season 3 and beyond. Post all your theories in the comments below. Do you think that Grogu will leave the Jedi Academy and someday create a totally different kind of Jedi Order? My full Book of Boba Fett Episode 7 finale video will post next week. That's right, the finale is next week. We'll get some teasers for The Mandalorian Season 3 during that, so I'll also do some separate videos for those after the episode comes out. Click here for my full Book of Boba Fett Episode 6 video, probably the best episode so far, and click here for my new Marvel Doctor Strange 2 Iron Man video. Thank you so much for watching, everyone stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.